Generating spawn points is something that happens naturally over time, because you are awarded them for almost all actions in game. Nevertheless, sometimes you want to generate them faster, and maybe your vehicle allows you to get them one specific way more efficiently. During the video I will be switching to tactical map very often, so in addition to what I will tell, you will be able to see yourself how many spawn points I'm getting for every action. There are four ways of generating spawn points. Scouting, capturing, getting hit and dealing damage. First way scouting. It doesn't only generate spawn points but also reduces cost of planes. Light tanks have the ability to scout enemy vehicles. When scouted, for limited time the marker appears on minimap for everyone on your team. If during that time someone kills that tank, you will get 40 spawn points and most importantly, cost of all planes in your lineup will be reduced. In game it says 7% but keep in mind that the number is rounded. Reduction only applies to current cost of that vehicle. So for example if plane costs 600 points, after first reduction it will be reduced by 50, second time by 40 and third time by 30. Because the less the cost of the respawn, the less 7% reduction is going to be. Every vehicle that has scouting ability also has modification called Ear Strike, that will double the amount of points reduced. The disadvantage of this method is that you depend on your team to destroy opponents, and if you kill your scouted vehicle yourself, there will be no reduction. Second way, capturing points with fast vehicles. Probably the most popular way amongst everyone who wants to jump into planes as soon as possible. This allows you to quickly and safely get a huge boost in spawn points, 200 points if you was alone, and if there were more people, points will be shared among them. Additionally, fast vehicles usually have very low spawn point cost, so even if you fail, you will still be able to play with another tank. At the beginning of a match, when you know that all opponents are still in one place, at their respawn, you can safely drive across the whole map and be the first to capture the point before opponents get there. On maps where each team has capture point close to respawn, also sometimes called home or base point, it's best to skip the first one and capture another in the middle of a map. Otherwise, your team will lose opportunity to get some extra points for themselves and your speed advantage will be wasted on capture point that would have been captured anyway. On maps where capture points are located in the middle of respawns of both teams, feel free to take any of them even if your team won't get any points. That will give your side advantage as it's easier to protect capture point that already belongs to your team. The disadvantage of this method is that you end up alone in the middle of a map and by the time you finish capturing there will be enemy tanks showing up. Additionally, people often drop artillery strikes here at the beginning of a match and if you was fast enough to get there first, most likely your vehicle has little to no armor and you can die before even seeing an opponent. Another disadvantage is that in game mode called battle, you won't even be able to capture anything quickly enough, then this method cannot be used at all. Third way, getting hit. Who could have thought but opponents might be doing you a favor while shooting at you. Every time you are hit, you are being rewarded 20 spawn points for your suffering, except when you are hit by a very high rate of fire guns but usually you get this fixed amount every time. It doesn't matter if there were any damages or if there were no penetration at all. So if you have vehicle that doesn't die so easily, like Jumbo, even when there is no hope to survive and your destruction is inevitable, don't J out and farm spawn points this way for your next vehicle. Of course, the disadvantage is that you will be hit. Even when you are fighting against the SPAA that is unable to penetrate you, they can destroy your gun and tracks, making you defenseless for the duration of repairs. Additionally, heavy tanks cost more spawn points to begin with and are slower, so if you plan to take plane as soon as possible, this way might not be for you. Fourth way, dealing damage. 
This is so obvious that I believe you will be using this way even without my encouragement. I will just explain damage types and how it reflects on your reward. Apparently, just like when being hit, there is some cooldown period between awarding points, because shooting someone with a high rate of fire weapon will not generate you millions of spawn points. You only get them when hit message shows up. But the amount of points given can be different and depends on inflicted damage and weapon used. For example, critical hit gives around 50 points. Hitting someone with your main gun without penetration and no hit message doesn't give anything. Killing blow gives more than 100 points. So depending on how many shots it took to destroy opponent, you might get more than capturing point alone. Machine guns seem to be the most inefficient way. Sending dozen bullets into opponent without damage will give you 6 points every time hit message shows up. The more times you can respawn, the more influence you will have over outcome of that fight. So to maximize spawn points generation, combine all these methods whenever you can. Additionally, after publishing this video, people who watched it will share their way of getting more spawn points, so scroll down to comment section to read some advices.